guys, what's going on? We are heading to McDonough, Georgia right now. And so we picked up this lot out of Salina, Kansas. It's pizza. We have a Red Baron pizza right now in the back. It's 41,000 pounds. Uh, it's fully loaded. I think about 32, 34 pallets. I'm not sure. And uh, doesn't deliver till Tuesday at 1400. And this load, when I got there, was supposed to be ready, you know, like Sunday morning at 8 a.m. And I got there uh, Sunday, I mean, Saturday afternoon around 1600. And it was ready. It was actually loaded the night before. It was loaded on Friday at 2200, 2232 or something like that, it said on the bills. So here we are. We're taking it now to McDonough, Georgia, and we're gonna drop it in our yard there because it doesn't deliver for another day. And I'm trying to get one more load in for payroll because I'm gonna be going home for two weeks. For some of you who don't know that, I'll be going home for two weeks. We're gonna be taking a nice vacation. Back in the day during COVID and a little bit after COVID, I was able to take off two weeks every month. So I'll just run a whole month and then take off two weeks because that's how good the rate was and that's how great the money was. So now it's kind of slow, but uh, it's well deserved. You know, I go home here and there. I've been given, getting a lot of loads without asking the fleet manager to uh, go to Florida. He's been giving me a lot of loads going to Florida, which is nice. So I'm always able to stop by the house for at least, you know, a day or a few hours. And I'm grateful for that because I can spend time and see my daughters and, and my wife. So I appreciate that always. But long story short, so this load, 41,000 pounds, pizza, picked up, you know, and it delivers in uh, Su uh, Suwanee, or Suwanee, Georgia. I'm not, I'm not sure, man, I'm so bad with, I'm sorry, I butcher those names all the time. People correct me and I appreciate that. But, you know, and uh, so we're about 227 miles away right now from the yard where we're dropping this trailer and we're picking up another loaded trailer that we have to drop off tomorrow at 1400, meaning, if I drop it off tomorrow, the other load, it's gonna give me time. I'll be empty 24 hours early, which will possibly give me another load for, for payroll, if possible, if there's anything left or available, which would be nice. And um, go ahead and turn on the CC. It's a little bit hot in here now. I usually run with the windows open, but if I leave the windows open, you guys probably won't hear anything I'm saying. So I drove yesterday pretty, pretty hard. I ran out of hours. I stopped in Mount Vernon. I deadheaded from Kansas City, Missouri to Salina, Kansas. Picked up the load, deadheaded back, drove back through Kansas City, St. Louis, and then we jumped on the 64 and we went to Mount Vernon, Illinois, parked there at the pilot. Took our 10 hour rest break there. Woke up this morning, got a nice shower, and uh, hit the road. Had about 515 miles left, and we have about 226 miles left right now. So our ETA is shown at 2100. We'll be there uh, probably a little later if there's some kind of traffic. We actually hit a little bit of tra traffic in uh, downtown Tennessee going there. Nothing too crazy. And um, yeah, if Atlanta is nice to us, we should be able to get there. I'll have to stop in about three hours and three minutes. That's, that's what I have left on my eight. I have to take that mandatory 30 minute break that DOT requires. So we'll take that. So that will put us around 21.30. I was looking at the satellite last night. It looks like that place where we're going to tomorrow has overnight parking, or not overnight parking, but street parking. So I'm planning on to just go there and just go ahead and park over there. I don't know, we'll see what, we, what we're gonna be able to, you know, accomplish here and see how much hours we have left on the clock and if we wanna push it. It's gonna be a little bit like north, northwest-ish or west of Atlanta off of 85. That's where we're delivering to. And um, yeah, I read the reviews on that place we're delivering to, not the pizza, but the other, the load that I'm picking up out of the yard. They have terrible reviews. Somebody said they take hours to unload. So my plan is the appointment is 1400. I was gonna check in tomorrow. If I can park on the street, I will check in early, like maybe 8 a.m. and see if they take me in early. So maybe by 2, 1400, they'll be done unloading me. You know what I mean? Because I'm really like hoping to pick up another load I have to be home by Thursday, Friday. So Thursday, Friday, he'll be sending me home. So when we get to Georgia, we're not leaving. We're not going anywhere else. I don't believe at least because 
we're going to have to like drop down and go home by Friday. That's the plan right now. We're coming up. We're going to be coming up on Mount Eagle over here. So we're going to climb that, stop at the brake check area, go down that steep. I don't know if it's 7% grade or 5%. I don't remember. That's about it, guys. So we're just trucking it along here. Beautiful Sunday, November 17th. I want to say thank you all for uh, always subscribing and watching my videos. You guys are epic, man. I really appreciate all the support, as always. I like, you know, I like doing trucking or whatever, and uh, it, it's good, like, for the money. And I know Trump, the guy, you know, Trump got reelected, so I'm grateful for that. Hopefully, the rates get better. I'm hoping for that because when Trump was in office, rates, trucking, you know, the whole world, economy, everything was good. Everything was going well, you know, he, he kept peace with some countries and stuff like that. But I'm not going to talk politics, but all I'm saying is I'm grateful that Trump got reelected and hopefully trucking gets better because all the stock markets and everything jumped up, you know, and uh, Trump 2024, baby. Sorry, I don't mean to offend for those of you who don't support Trump. You know, if you're watching my video and you're my follower, if uh, if I'm offending you, I apologize. But, you know, Trump, come on. You know, Trump did a lot for this country before. But I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to talk politics. I'm not trying to start some fight or drama or anything in the comments with anybody. Everyone has their own opinion. Everyone knows who they support and like and don't like. And, you know, you have freedom of speech. You know, you have your opinion. So you just go with it. We're going to be climbing Mount Eagle. Go down Mount Eagle. We're going to be climbing it slow because we're heavy. And then we're going to go down after we check the brakes. And then we'll be pretty much almost in Chattanooga get through Chattanooga and then we're gonna jump on 75 South and head towards Atlanta, take the 285 bypass over there and then jump back on 75, go down to McDonough, you know, get up, get there and uh, drop off this preloaded and pick up the loaded, check on the fuel, cause that one is continuous fuel hog run. Hopefully whoever's dropping that load or dropped it, filled it up and if not, if I get there and the load or the trailer is empty, then I'll be kind of upset because then that means I'll have to take that load and drive probably to Jackson, Georgia or like somewhere to fill it up. But if I find street parking, I'm probably just going to go and uh, park there on the street. So I'm already there. You know, I don't have to be getting stuck in traffic in the morning tomorrow or anything like that. I can relax. I can sleep in. Technically, I want to wake up early and see if they take me in early because that's my plan. It, it is Monday, so you never know. If they have a lot of trucks or a lot of deliveries, they might not take me in early. They might tell me to stick to my appointment. Some places do, some places don't. Some places unload you early, which, you know, I'm always grateful for that. But it just depends on it, I guess. There we are, guys. We're climbing Mount Eagle now. Steep mountain, a lot of sharp curves, but beautiful scenery as you guys can see hopefully I'm not sitting too high we're not physically climbing it yet we're about to though in a second when we get there we go this is starting to increase the hill truck inspection area here we are we're coming up here on the brake check area all trucks have to stop here and check their brakes there's no one really physically working here here we are at the brake check area basically you have to stop here physically and check your brakes but
guys in Chattanooga. <coughs> this turn is going to be a little bit steep, so we're going to take a little slow out here. school or something like that. Little kids. Pretty cool. Uh, today's a stressful day for me. Um, just because like, you know, where you, when you drive through Tennessee and when you drive through Chattanooga and Atlanta and it's very busy, a lot of cars, a lot of crazy drivers, it's like very stressful. I'm always trying to be careful driving, but just other drivers you gotta watch out for too. Crazy, doing crazy stuff around you all the time. is really busy but it doesn't look like anybody's here right now so we'll be fine this camera says my average following distance is four seconds all the time so it's nice but in the cities like this you know you can't really fall off too far back from cars because people just hitting brakes and you keep catching up to them so it's understandable but we got out of Chattanooga now pretty much just around a couple more curves up there Somebody in the front over here, we're going real slow, but there's a truck behind me, there's a truck on my left. I'll just wait. I'll wait. I have to call my wife back when we get out of here. The Sondo's gonna jump right in front of me. There, I knew it. And then it's truck and wait. Or he'll overtake me over here on the hill because I'll go slow. Unless it's taking this exit. Nice, taking an exit. Okay. We'll just wait. Back off a little bit. Oh, how fast he's going? He's only going 34. Real heavy. Twenty-six. Loud and clear, driver. Thank you. You got to be safe out there. Somebody 
got in front of him. Yeah, it's M4. for wherever he was talking to, just to be funny. Sometimes you're gonna have some kind of humor here, you know? Make your, make your day a little bit better. They were working on these roads here. I don't know if they're still working on them or what. I think they're done working on them. Oh man. They're working on these roads, all right. We're just gonna stay in this lane because this lane will enter I-75 south. That's what we want towards Atlanta. When we get through here, as soon as this car takes it, we're gonna keep going. Cordell, 
or Colin Hound. Is it Cole Hound? I think Georgia there's a loves. I'll probably just stop there and take a 30 real quick. And then we'll finish it off. We're about 146 miles. Somebody else is mad on the radio. Uh, we're about 146 miles out from the yard. So we're two hours, 19 minutes. There's a little green bar on the right side of the map. Welcome to Georgia. I don't know what they're ranting about, but this little green bar right here on the side, it tells you uh, if there's any kind of traffic. Yeah, we already entered Georgia. You're a little late. Anyways, so as I was saying, this little green bar here on the side or here on the right side of the GPS right here. If I slide this little uh, hours back over here, we got no traffic at all. 15 miles, 30 miles, 45 miles, all green, meaning it's all good. We are, we're gonna just smooth cruise. I don't know why my truck is thinking it's 50 miles an hour. It's not 50 miles an hour. And then this guy was with his high beams on. Appreciate that, man. Ah, oh, Liam. You're blinding me, man. Can't even see. Thanks, Tesla. Of course it'd be a Tesla. Of course it'd be a Tesla. Damn, Tesla. Very good. This guy's a little far, like, over to the right against that, uh, the rail. So we're good. We're just with the guardrail, and uh, we're good. We're just going to stay right here. We ain't going to have to merge over. Usually if somebody's, like, close to the road, I try to merge over because you never know if they get out of the truck you know you might end up hitting him or you never know like you know god forbid guy gets out of the truck or whatever and slips and trips or over something and falls down and then you run him over you know what i mean i always try to make the lane same thing with the four-wheelers if the four-wheeler like a car is pulled over on the side of the road i would just merge over it just because you never know what the pe person's intentions are you never you know you're not sure if the person is gonna be done doing whatever he's doing on the side of the road and just pull right in front of you without looking at his mirror because that happened a few times already to me and I couldn't merge over because there was a truck or a car next to me. So I always try to be cautious and try to scan 12 seconds ahead, like all the way up there with this, somebody using a turn signal, as you guys can see, like way up there, like he's already going up the hill. Somebody's in their brakes down there. Yeah, I always try to watch ahead so I can react early because early is better than late. But anyways, catch you guys here shortly when we get closer to uh, Georgia. Well, we're in Georgia, but closer to Atlanta and McDonough Yard over there. Hey everybody, we are here on 285 bypass right now. We're about 43 miles exactly away from the yard. ETA is showing 2155, let's just say 2200 because there's gonna be some lights on the way to the yard when we take the McDonough exit, the 216. It's gonna be exit 216 off of I-75 South. <clears throat> so that's about it, but so far so good, smooth flowing right now but let's not jinx it because every time you know I, I say something like that we have a major accident or, or something happens there's traffic or whatever but that was just a little an accident right now and then those people were smart they actually moved the the cars all on the shoulder which is kind of nice they're not blocking the road or whatever it looks like somebody from florida with a u-haul trailer like i don't know if they hit somebody or what happened but they got into a little uh accident unfortunately These ramps are full with trucks. Um, the reason is, is because it's Sunday and nobody's delivering until tomorrow here in Atlanta. So that's the reason why most of these ramps here is like full with uh, trucks or whatever. And this guy's probably gonna end up jumping in front of me, isn't he? Yeah, I figured. We figured that, boys, we figured that. I didn't get a good night's sleep last night. I only I slept like seven hours, so I'm kind of tired. But we're almost done, so I'm just trying to finish the last 42 miles safely here. It's a nice tow truck. Kenworth. I probably 
won't do much more talking guys so just hope you enjoy i'm gonna do like different sceneries and different clips of where we're going and where we're at like when we're taking that bypass when we're merging onto 75 and taking an exit and going to the delivery or to the yard so i probably would not be doing much talking because i'm just kind of exhausted so maybe i'll play some music quiet music in the background with it with these clips Oh, um, one more thing I wanted to say was I was gonna give a shout out to Antonio. He's one of the subscribers. He's cool. Um, so he made uh, an was an American Truck Simulator. Come on, car. An American Truck Simulator. He made my truck rec replica with Prime and everything exactly the same way, right? So shout out to him for that. He even has my truck number and and my stickers and my YouTube stickers and all that. You know what I mean? So. Which is kind of nice, I appreciate that. Horses. Yeah, I got some horses in the back. Those are the fancy horse, uh, horse carriages or whatever. <coughs> they have all nice lights and the horses have like nice... I saw one yesterday that was going, oh man. These people want to speed up, merging on the highway, gotta love it, man. Typical Atlanta drivers. 65 here, and I mean, uh, it would be nice if they match the speed here, but not always. So, speaking of Antonio, guys, sorry I got distracted because of the car earlier. I was trying to pay attention to make sure I don't hit him or he does anything crazy. So, speaking of him, he made a replica of my truck on uh, American Truck Simulator. Shout out to him for that. I appreciate that. I will link the video in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. It's pretty cool. I think he did like a load of uh, potatoes or something from like Wyoming to Nebraska, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of I kind of forgot now, but yeah, I appreciate that. It was a nice uh, little video he did. <coughs> he even gave me a little shout out. So much love for that. Appreciate your brother. Super busy guys. 
don't know if you guys can see it or not. You got planes landing back to back right there. To, like on ahead. all the runways, it looks like four lines of south. planes landing. All right, I gotta speed up, man. Hopefully I can get a little bit of more speed to get around this car and get in front of him. So we'll be here, I mean, we're gonna have to stay in the two right lanes to take I-75 south. And now he's gonna speed up when I'm going downhill, speeding up as well, it's crazy. We might have like a nice uh, plane land right on top of us or whatever. There you go, good job. Finally sped up so I can merge now. We're clear, it's just him. Fix up, still fix up, the sensor still fix up the car. One mile ahead, take exit 50 HI 75 south. Go ahead and merge, we're clear right now. There's a pickup truck back there, they're good. Then we're gonna go ahead and get behind Heartland and all that. We're clear still. This is car coming, but we're good. in this lane for now and uh, we'll ride this whole lane even when we take the exit because we're gonna stay in the left lane as soon as we take that exit just because um, look at that I told you I called it plane landing right on top of us almost on top of us just a little off Point three miles ahead. what is she rear, rear end south. she rear ended somebody that's that Delta I love airplanes, man. Take exit 50 HI 75 South. Even Ari loves airplanes. She's like, I took her to the airport to do plane spotting with us, and it was it was fun. Like she had fun. She was always amazed at all the planes and the sounds and everything. Point eight I hope, miles ahead. Because I mean, right. me personally, I really wanted to become like a pilot, but I just didn't have the funds and stuff like that. And you know, so I couldn't do it. I mean, I know it's not too late, but honestly. I hope my daughter gets in, like, you know, I hope my daughter accomplishes that and she's a pilot, but I'm not gonna force her to be a pilot if she doesn't want, you know, everybody has their own mind of what they want to be when they grow up, what career they want to pursue, and, you know, maybe she wants to be a doctor. You never know, right? Point three miles ahead, keep right. Gotta start slowing down because this exit here is very steep. You gotta take it at 40 miles an hour, so. I know sensor, I know. Somebody's next to me, thank you though. Look at that guys. The plane is right on top of us like I called it. That's pretty cool, that's pretty neat. Keep left. Can't look obviously because I'm going on a train and I can't really get distracted too much by airplanes, but that was cool. It's right on top of us. There's another one right there, Delta again. They're literally like landing, landing back to back. It's busy. Sunday night arrivals, guys. Sunday night arrivals. I actually follow a pilot. Um, he flies Delta too. I actually kind of follow quite a bit of pilots, not just one. Uh, more far. So I follow quite a bit of pilots. Uh, one for Delta, one for FedEx. What else? One for Southwest. Yeah, I follow quite a bit of them. There's even one guy that I follow. He does. Um, he flies Frontier. So, and then I actually got one guy, other, another guy I follow from Las Vegas. He like he does UPS. Like he flies a 757. But 20.8 miles ahead. Anyways. Exit 216 to Georgia 155 South McDonough Road North. Cool. 20 miles to our exit, and then we'll be four miles away when we take the exit to the yard. So I don't know if you guys remember when we delivered. Um, during the Hurricane Helene or whatever, there was like a cold storage you delivered to, which was the McDonough cold storage, which is that's, that's one of them. And then there's another one out back. There's like a medical supplier, I think it's McKesson or something like that. And then we're kind of next to it, there's another cold storage. And then the cold storage across the yard, or across the street from the cold storage, we have like a yard there that we, I think it's owned by the cold storage, if I'm not mistaken, but we're allowed to use it whenever we want, I guess. They let Prime use it. I don't know if Prime rents it from them or they have some sorts of agreements or something like that. So, I don't know, but it's nice. They don't really allow us to park there overnight, but all the drivers do that all the time. I mean, it's, it's 
it's kind of hard not to park there at night. The reason is because Atlanta has nothing for parking after like five o'clock, depending on where you're at in Atlanta. So having that yard at McDonough that you can shut down at, especially if you get stuck in some kind of traffic and you can actually sleep there and it's secured by a fence and the code and all that, it's nice. It's actually real nice. They were saying they were gonna build a, a terminal here for Prime, but it never did. I don't know why. I guess it's just, maybe the land is expensive or I don't know. I mean, this, uh, I wouldn't be able to answer that, why they didn't build it or whatever. Stop is just a yield, so it's continue on. 1.7 miles ahead, turn left on Greenwood Industrial Parkway. It's not as busy as daytime, that's for sure. Usually, daytime here it's crazy. So, tomorrow, like, I'm already expecting uh, the bumps. Crazy. I don't see anybody at the light. Hopefully it doesn't go red. I think we're good, boys and girls. It's 55 here? Damn. I don't want to go that fast now. But okay. I don't want to obstruct traffic either, so we're going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit, even though we're about to check it, exit in the mile. So I'm just probably going to go like 48, 50. That's it. This is another light coming up right here. at the light. Usually if I see somebody at the light, most likely they're going to go yellow and red. One you know? mile ahead, turn left on Greenwood Industrial Parkway. It's a car like right behind me. <clears throat> There's another one coming back there, but we're good. You're going to get, you know, get pressure to go any faster than you want to. That's the thing about trucking. Don't let nobody pressure you behind you. Even if they're riding your DOT bumper or whatever, tailgating you, doesn't matter. You know, just whatever. Let them, them, let them do them and you do you. Safety first, always. Try to drive as safe as possible. So, you can wait. I'm about to take the exit at this light. Um, not exit, but we're going to make a left at the light. Miles ahead, turn left on Greenwood Industrial Parkway. Um, so I make a lot of like mistakes with um, you know pronunciations like names and stuff, and I apologize, guys. Uh, you know, English is not my first language, I'm from Lithuania originally, which is the uh, Baltic countries, it's um, Baltic, like the Baltic countries, Baltic states, whatever you want to call it. Poland, uh, Lithuania. I'm gonna slow down because I'm heavy. I don't want to just blow right in front of these people. It might, the light might go red for them. No, okay. I thought it was. It's not. So yeah, no, I'm from Lithuania. Borders Poland, Latvia, uh, Estonia, and all that. That's where I'm from. If you guys Google Lithuania, and we speak Lithuanian. Okay, still or uh, whatever. Because the light doesn't want to turn green for us, and then. I'm gonna swing it wide here. Even though nobody's here, ahead. it's always good. We're cleared it beautifully. Yeah, it's always nice to uh, swing it wide because 
it's a good practice to always remember that, you know, I always think like there's somebody there because it's always good practice doing it the way, you know, like that. So when we clear out these railroad tracks right here, there's going to be that um, a cold storage we picked up out of. Oh, there's Mazda right here. Oh, I didn't know they have Mazda supply here. I think that's like Mazda car parts or something like that. That's my guess. I didn't even notice that before. I guess I'm just not watching too often. Uh, I think this railroad was bumpy from my past experience or whatever. But I don't. He's gonna go. That's good. Yeah, let him go. So yeah, we delivered. Well, we delivered to this cold storage now multiple times right here. Do you guys remember? I'm sure I have, probably have some couple of prime trailers. I'm not sure. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. For tomorrow, you know, tomorrow a thousand percent they will. But we're almost here to our uh, yard. The yard's gonna be a little narrow, like coming in there. So I gotta be careful because yeah, it's just narrow pulling in there, and I'm in the 13 hole uh, on the trailer ahead. tandems. Turn left on Medline Place. My trailer tandems are in the 13 like hole, so it's like kind of far back my tandems. So it's gonna make it a little more trickier. So I gotta watch out pulling in to not hit the gate or the post or anything like that. Even though some drivers did, and I noticed that before, but yeah. Somewhere over here around this bend. There's nobody behind us anymore. That's good. He was behind us, like close, but now he disappeared. Probably took a. He went to one of those um, warehouses. Turn left on Medline Place. Last time I was here, I made a mistake. I went this in here because it said turn left, and I went here to this warehouse. Luckily, nobody like you know there was no security or nothing, so I was able to like turn around. Nobody's coming. I don't see any lights. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swing in here. Some guy two parked. miles ahead. Turn left. Guys parked here sleeping. So that's the cold storage right ahead. You can see, and our um, yard. It's gonna be over here on the right. I ran over some bottle or something like that. So yeah, this is the storage right Turn here. Left. I delivered here before. I'm not turning left. I'm gonna go right because our yard is right across from here. yard right here oh wow it's quite a bit of trailers and trucks here but it's the weekend again so everyone's probably at home time Point two miles ahead turn around at a safe location here we are here we are it's gonna be a little bit tricky with this post I gotta stay like kind of if anything well I don't want to like oh well, I guess they made it's not too bad I guess it's manageable very good I might have to just get out and open it and put the code in yeah, we'll have to. It's okay. Let me get. Let me go ahead and go off duty real quick, so we're not burning all the hours because we're kind of light on hours today. Verify it, just like so. All right. Got to get out and punch in the code real quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and find a spot to drop this trailer. Got to. I'll show you guys everything. It's kind of hard to explain everything right now. There we go. I don't want to show the code or anything like that because I don't think I'm allowed, you know. I'm not trying to get fired over that. God forbid, God forbid I'm like putting my code, the code in for the yard and somebody pulls in here and steals the trailer with a load or something like that because of my video and then I'll be in big trouble. We cleared it, we're good. So I guess pick a spot, any spot. Turn around at a safe location. Pick a spot, any spot. Point one mile ahead. Turn around at a safe location. Wow, Prime is taking over in this yard. <laughs> wow, man, last time it was like only a few trailers. I haven't been here in quite a while, I guess. Damn. Okay. Pretty nice, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll just do our straight line back and make it easier. So, oh, there's a cone here. Never mind. No can do. Uh, we'll just do it right here. We can do it here. Point one mile ahead. Turn left on Medline Place, then turn right. 
takes so long for the trailer to come back around. That's crazy. Look at that. Just because of um, how far the tendons are in the back. I'm gonna make sure I don't hit this trailer on my left, or on, the, on my right. Very good. Just hold it right now. Most easiest back ever and you're gonna mess it up like that. Oh no, we can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. There we go. Perfections. There we go. We got plenty of spot like space on the right. Hold it, I got train out. And there we have it. Cool. That's it. Still off duty, which is nice. Double checking. All right. Well, right now, what we have to do is <clears throat> I'm gonna have to disconnect it. But first, just shut this off for now. Uh, first things first. I gotta scan these bills in, guys. So I'm gonna put the chair up now or the seat. I gotta go ahead and scan these bills in so they know I delivered it. I didn't deliver it to the destination, but I delivered it to the yard and then I have to do a drop trailer report. And I have to fill one of these bad boys out right here. I haven't filled it out yet. Uh, I mean, it's from Selena, Kansas going to Suwanee, Georgia. So right now I just got to scan these bills in so we get paid and good credit bill of lading, I think. Yeah. Like that. Next, add another page. We're just gonna add all these pages right here, like so. Just add all of them. So in case of anything, they have some paperwork right here. I want to make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, we are, because the battery is getting kind of low and hot. It might shut off again. This GoPro. This GoPro always lets me down, guys. I'm trying to catch up some videos for you all, and uh, it's always letting me down. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. All right, cool. Next. Um, just like that. Done. And we're going to send it. Send batch. Make sure this one doesn't have all my information on here. Selena, Selena, Kansas. Oh damn, they have my phone number and they have my name on it. So I'm not leaving this for the, the other guy because I don't want uh, like him to have my info or whatever, right? So I'm just going to leave this here for me. Uh, what I got to do is just fold this. Huh? Oh, I'm still driving. Why? I already put myself off of driving earlier. I guess maybe we triggered the time because we drove, right? Anyway, so I got to like kind of like not fold it i'm just gonna roll it roll it up like this like so and then what what i gotta do is i gotta get a um, bag plastic bag walmart bag will do you gotta put it in here like this and we're gonna have to tie it up so it doesn't get wet in case it rains and doesn't blow away all right, cool. Now what we're gonna do is just get out and connect it, this paperwork to the airline. I'll show you guys real quick. And we can start disconnecting and take my lock off and do a drop trailer report. So dispatch can send us the other pre-plan that we got. Go ahead and turn on the light. And we're gonna grab our key here. Just like that. Perfect. So we just take this paperwork first and we're gonna tie it here. Take this and just tie it like this, just twice. And there we got it. That's the paperwork. Now we're ready to disconnect it.
I gotta find the other trailer I gotta drop off the load or whatever. I gotta make sure it has enough fuel in it. Cause this one got enough fuel. It said uh it said full. Say hi guys. Hello. Say hi camera. Hi guys. Hello, hello. Dad is here disconnecting. Wait. Good night. Good night. I'll call you in the back. Good night. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got the lock. And we gotta just uh pull up now. I'm just gonna do a drop trailer report real quick, send it, and then you should send us the other load. Then I can figure everything out for tomorrow. That's the plan right now. Put a lock here. I'm not even sure what trailer we're picking up on the next load, but we'll find out in a second, guys. So right now I'm just gonna fill out all my bills. Hey everybody, so he sent me a, uh, the new load. It's on trailer 1905-27. Is somewhere over here in the yard so I have to find it and then um, right now I'm gonna go ahead and I guess plan the trip for tomorrow see how far we are and then we'll decide if we want to stay here or we're gonna go personally I want to stay here because you know we have secured parking right here or whatever so just want to make sure you know we're safe and all that especially in Atlanta and stuff like that and let's see how far we are I was looking on satellite even while I've checked uh, on the satellite and then they have like overnight well parking on the street but being that it's Sunday you know what I mean it's like um, how sure are you that there is a spot on the street to park it looks like we're 33.8 miles away 38 minutes total hmm okay about 34 miles away I wonder if I should just go there, man. I'm still like, I'm still unsure right now. I'm still connected to the trailer we're dropping right now. I'm gonna pull up right now and I'm just gonna go look for the other trailer we're gonna pick up. And then I guess we'll just decide from there. Hey guys, I'm just checking out my load locks. Everything is good. Um, so I found a trailer, it's 19. So it's down there, more towards the entrance over there. We're gonna go ahead and get it right now and connect to it and pick up the trailer. And we're gonna ride out probably, still haven't checked the satellite. I don't know, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, we'll decide. pick up do a trailer pickup report and then probably just ride out tomorrow morning i want to get some sleep so i didn't get a good sleep last night and it's only 30 miles away from here so just just give it an hour and a half with traffic if anything you know what i'm saying so it should be fine so i'm gonna do this pickup trailer report and good morning uh -huh. okay no problem good morning good morning guys love you too good morning guys we're leaving um mcdonough yard right now we're gonna go drop off this load we are about 
38 minutes away and uh, ETA is saying 1057, it's currently 1019. So 34 miles. I looked at the map, I didn't see any traffic as you guys can see on the green over here on the right again, not, not much traffic at all, which is nice. So we're gonna go drop this load off, see what's next. Hopefully we can get another load in for payroll. If not, I'll be disappointed, but it's whatever, you know. <clears throat> I think I'll still be able to get one though. Got to swing wide here because this place is narrow. You can see how many trucks run over. Uh, you can see how many trucks run over the curb and curb it. I don't want to be one of those guys. <laughs> All right. Beautiful day. 90 degrees outside is saying, but I know it's not no 90 degrees outside. It's probably like 68 in my opinion because. Um, it's um the sensors right here in the front so it's the sun is beaming on the window so it's thinking 90 degrees but it's not really 90 degrees it's actually really nice outside it's about probably like 69 like i said or 68 beautiful weather but i'll catch you guys when we uh get closer to the delivery there when we go check in so i'll see you guys then because i know this video will be already like too long as is since we've been recording it from yesterday and all that. Point two miles ahead. Turn right on Greenwood Industrial Parkway. I don't want to run over these holes. So we get wide. There we go.
I delivered around here somewhere before. Not this place, but it was like, um, I think it was a Cisco or something like that. But I think I went the other way, actually. Not this way, because I remember I cut through this road and then went the other way. Mile out. I think it's at this light. I'm going to make a right. Point three miles ahead. Turn right on Welcome All Road Southwest. trucks allowed yeah but I'm making the delivery here so I have to go this way I saw the other truck go this way as well if you're, ma if you're making the delivery it's allowed it said it said that on the notes for me he said no trucks allowed unless you're making a delivery so we're making a delivery so we're gonna go here like you see there's a truck right there too Two, 
we're going to 52, we were right the whole time. So we're gonna stop here on the side. I'm gonna get out, open the door real quick, and then I guess they're gonna come and get the bills, he said. for now just like this take the seal and cut it oh uh, damn I, mean, I think it might be flowers they use forward load locks jeez well, at least we got forward load locks unless they keep it I feel like this was like a team load or something like that because it's flowers so they want to get it here ASAP now we're going to go ahead and back it into 52 I think which is next to the other prime over there still recording still recording just making sure and this random trailer here gonna make it fun for us hopefully not it will be all right So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. As always, I appreciate all the support and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.